What is up everybody and welcome to Boosted Motorsports. So I didn't really wanna have to make this video and I wasn't planning on making this video, but somebody let me know in a previous video about counterfeit spark plugs, fake spark plugs, and you know imitation spark plugs. I didn't even think it was a thing, but I am making this video not to tell you guys where to buy them, but to hopefully give you guys at least a little bit of information so you guys can make an informed decision because I did not know that this was a thing but counterfeit spark plugs are real and once you kind of open that can of worms it uh it gets pretty involved so let's dive straight into it i'll show you guys what i have here so just a quick backstory i've had a bunch of different vehicles if you guys haven't been following along on the channel we got the viper the s2000 the srt 10 ram with the viper motor we also have a dakota rt right there so we've been going through a bunch of plugs and different stuff and this thing had a misfire and I did not put the original plugs in it. When I bought the car, it had iridiums in it, brand new ones at the time. So I thought that was fine, all in well. And I just went uh, through the issue of doing a bunch of different stuff and checking for misfire and somebody mentioned the plugs. So here we are. So these are the four plugs that I removed from the S2000. I am still questioning their authenticity, but I'll show you them and just some of the features that you can look for. So look for things like smudged writing. These ones don't appear to have it. Of course, these are BKR7EIX-11s. So some of the things you can look for are some of the lettering and printing to be off. On this video, I'm going to be comparing iridiums in particular, but it could apply to any plug. You're also supposed to look at the top of the plug for that indent that you can see on top. This one is very slight, but I'm going to compare it to another plug just to show you. Another thing is for the crush washer to see if it is falling off or anything like that. Some guys will actually try to spin the porcelain portion and some of them actually rotate. So that would be definitely an indication of a plug that is counterfeit. You can also look at the powdering that you see here. So this powdering kind of turns yellow after it's had some use. Of course, these are used plugs, but there should be some of this white powder sort of stuff that meets here. And there's other key features that you can look at. You're supposed to look for any machining marks that are crushed here or here on the top on this rounded part here. So if you see any machining marks on either one of those, that is supposed to be uh, indications of a counterfeit plug. The other thing you can look at too is see this, this is kind of like their manufacturing number or stock number. So you can actually call this in to NGK and ask them if this is a run number that they're familiar with. But I don't know if that's necessarily the best, you know, way to go about this because they could actually, you know, duplicate a run number that's here in the US or you know anything like that so they could you know copy that of an actual real number so who's to say right but part of the key identifiers that I'm going to show you guys here see where it says Japan right here an indicator is the bottom of the P see how there's that line across the bottom of P that's what it's supposed to actually look like and you can also see these kind of hash marks there should be five of them and kind of printed like so so another, uh, some things that I've found also are you can look at the threads to see if they're quality machined and also look up here to see the tip. If you see that iridium portion of the tip, if it's protruding way out of the porcelain, that's something you look at and also see how the actual tip, I'll see if my camera can do this, but see how the actual tip has kind of a two piece design that very tiny top part is actually supposed to be welded to there, like with a laser or something ridiculous. So you can kind of look out for that. If it just kind of looks like it's one piece of metal, then it's probably not real. But I mean, who's to say whether they're replicating them in what sort of fashion? The other one is to look at this prong and it's supposed to make a smooth arch across to the top and not be a 90. So if you see something like that, keep an eye out. So. Like I said, I am not too sure. I'm sure an expert can probably chime in and know if this looks fraudulent. If you guys do know, let uh drop a comment down below, but let's move on to something that looks obviously fraudulent or counterfeit, I can say. So take a look at this one. So side by side, these two plugs were actually out of the Dakota. So they are a also an NGK Iridium, but they are a ZFR6. They are a ZFR6. FIX-11 and right away comparing the two these came in a shipment online but they came in two separate bundles I ordered eight plugs and they arrived in two separate orders so two separate distributors so first off right off the bat hopefully you guys can see this 
but the color difference in the actual printing. See how this one is much, much lighter? And this one is darker. You would say, ah, whatever, not a big deal. But it actually does make a difference. You can also see the paint here is different than there. And this isn't me being nitpicky. This is actually, if you guys go online and I'll link it down below, there's some articles and stuff that actually get into all this. And then when you go to the top, see the indent on the top, how there is barely anything. Whereas this one is much more apparent. And that is apparently an indication of a real plug. If you don't really see a dent in the top, it's apparently fake. I mean, it's still there, but I don't know to what degree it's supposed to be. If anybody from NGK wants to chime in, but I will then take you on to the part that is definitely indicative of not a real plug. Well, obviously it's a real spark plug, but you know, coming from NGK actually. So if you look here, see where it says Japan? If you look on the bottom, see on the bottom of the P there's a line. And then on the bottom of this one, no line on the bottom of that P. And apparently that is an indication of a fake plug. There's only one stamp of what this is supposed to be. And if you go to NGK, they will tell you what their stamp is supposed to look like. And it's supposed to have a line on the bottom of that P. Another thing is if you look at the hash marks, the five ones that I was talking about earlier, see how much deeper they are on this plug compared to this plug. Hopefully I can get the lighting right for you guys. See them there? And one of the other dead giveaways is these plugs were all in the vehicle for the same period of time, which was very short, maybe a few weeks. This plug here on the left is already rusting. So I have no, well, I do have an idea. I mean, it shouldn't be rusting that fast all over the place. So anywhere that I touched it with a socket or it made contact with a socket, you can see the plug is rusting all over the place. So it is of an inferior quality metal as well. I mean, as far as when you go down here, they don't look that different. So you can kind of see the tip there. Has a nice arc on the electrode part there. And if you look here, doesn't look that much different, but I wish I kept the boxes, but I did not. And I do know for 100% certainty, because I bought these direct from, <laughs> from a store, a physical brick and mortar store, this is what it would look like. So as soon as you look at Japan, see how there's a line on the bottom of that P? That's what it should look like. So, I mean, this is just a regular plug. These are like... You know, V-Power Copper, they're not anything, you know, super special. So I can't really compare the electrodes for you guys. But this is just an authentic plug where you can kind of get an idea of what it should look like. So see the top of it, how there's the indent there as well. You can see this white powder when it's brand new. So you can kind of see it all in there. And there's no machining marks. So I just wanted to make this video for you guys so you guys can... Be aware of it and hopefully make an informed decision. All right, guys. So those are some of the things that I found out with these spark plugs. And I'm going to continue to make more videos on this subject, unfortunately, or fortunately for, you know, whoever's watching on uh, any new info that I come up with. So any info that I have currently, I will link it down in the description below. But like I said, I'm not telling you guys where to buy these things, but I'm telling you that a lot of the online outlets that you get them from, um, you can pretty much tell based on the price. So if the plug's supposed to be like $20 a plug and you're getting it for five, it's kind of a red flag. But I'm not saying that there aren't deals to be had, but it might be an indication of something like this going on. So apparently it is pretty bad. I've heard numbers of up to 60% of plugs purchased online are actually counterfeit. I don't, I can't confirm that exact number, but that sounds insane and I, don't know whether to trust buying online. So I'll leave that up to you guys, whether you want to buy online or not, but take this info for what it's worth, make an informed purchase, and just know when you buy from the online retail outlets, they are pretty much just a link or connection between the actual supplier and the end customer. They are not validating any of those products that come through. The only time that that would ever get caught is if an authority came and got involved in that exchange but i mean the person or the website that you're on 
they are not monitoring what is being sold. So just keep that in mind, you guys. It's unfortunate. I know it's convenient to order online, but something like this, you might wanna make sure you're spending that extra dollar to get the right plug so you're getting the right thing because this isn't that bad, honestly, but I've seen, and I'll link it down below as well, where there's plugs separating, they're dropping into the engine, coming apart, melting down, lots of stuff that could actually damage your engine. So don't take a chance with you guys. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Stick around and check out some of the other content we have on this channel. We have a lot of automotive related content. So hit that subscribe button, turn on the post notification. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.